Which way you want it? English, Haida, both? Both. Yeah. Both. Allah, when I was a small little kid, I remember somebody saying the name of that village, but that's long time, that's over 80 years ago, and I used to listen to these things. Yeah, most, of, most of these things happen mostly in the West Coast, but then uh, there was more people living along the West Coast than on the inside. So uh, this is something that happened in the West Coast. There's a village in the West Coast where uh, <coughs> where there were some Haida people living in. That's a, it was quite a big big village, a lot of people. Back in those days, there were a lot of Haidas on the island. And then the, the way of survival for our Haida people way back, all the way back, is mostly from the ocean. There was not that much land food. In the ocean, the, most of their surviving way of life was living from the ocean. All the fish. And then there was one day, uh, way back in those, well, the same way with our rowboats too, uh, what do you call a two-man boat, they're only 14 feet long. But that's how I started my life on the ocean, as rowboat. And that's how those canoes were. That was the size boat that two men at a time get on there, go fishing every day. Whenever the weather's good, that all the fishing men will go out collecting their winter food. And that was the way of their life. Two guys on this boat and they go fishing. Bring in fish. They, they knew all the different area, different spots for a harbor like Lincoln and Red Snappers and Albert. So it depends on what they were after. They all go to their own fishing areas. And one day everybody got home and there was one boat never got back, didn't come back. And the peop fishermen were all watching out for them and they never did come back. The two men on there, they, were, they never came back. So they, they had a big talk about it and back in those days they were afraid of each other all the time. They were afraid of uh, secret attack from a different village. <coughs> so so they thought that it was uh, there some people from other villas might have killed these two men. So the ne next day they pulled out the war canoe and the warriors all piled on and went out to look. When they got out to where the these guys were fishing. Closer towards the beach, they, they found the canoe lay, they was floating upside down. So they uprighted and there was no man on there. They, then the search parties, all, some went up the beach, checked the beaches, they looked all over and they couldn't find the two men. So no, nobody knew what was, what was happening. So another while longer, there was two men went out fishing again, and the same thing happened to them. They, they never came back. So the search parties went out again. They pull out their war canoe and the warriors pile on and go check it out. They found their canoes upside down and no men. So the village people, they got scared to go out. It's twice now, two of the four men all together, four men never got back. First two guys and two more guys got never returned. And there were a couple of real young brave, they were real young, young people. 
but they were very brave people. And these two guys had a talk together and they said uh, they wanted to go searching around out there and see what, why the why their people are not coming back home. So they went out there and they float around there all day where they found the boat's canoe that tipped over the last one. Nothing happened and they went home. A few more days later they went out again and tried to find out what was, what was uh, killing their fishermen. Then on the third time they went out, they didn't come back either. They, so they got their war boat out again and they went out to search for them too. They find that they found them the same way. They found the canoe, but no men. And then the other small boats were going along the beach searching. And one of the guys on the smaller boat way in started yelling, yelling at the big boats to come on in to see what's in the water there. So all the, all the boats went in to look. Here the, that big octopus was upside down in the water. They're just coming up, slowly coming up to the top. And, uh, and those two men were right in the center of the octopus. They were both drowned. But they killed that thing before before they drowned it. They cut the hole inside of the head right up. Mm. It's all cut up. They cut the hole inside right out. And they killed that big giant octopus. And they floated up with them. Them, them two guys were right in the center, floating up like that. So that was when they found out what was going on. <coughs> and these and these two people. They're a real big, great thing for the village people. They were very close to starvation. It was just in the time of the winter gathering for food. So everybody's all back out on the fishing again. Uh -huh.